Welcome back, my fellow dwarves. We're going to be doing another double warning this go around. Last mission didn't go so well on duos, so I'm going to try it solo. And if you can see, right at the top of the seasonal terminal, season 5 is mere 1 hour and 30 minutes away for console players. So soon, my friends, soon we'll be getting those new overclocks and new missions. Also, I was wanting to show, this is my Bosco build. He is built just for mining in one extra life. So he has three lives. No rockets, no damage, everything's unequipped. And let's get into it. Did I hear a rock and stone? So our our unholy amount of streaking ended up at one. <laughs> last mission streak was oh last mission was rough, I tell you. For if you're ever wondering, um if we are ever at zero and we just have a lot of attempts failed. I, I mean, I don't know if you guys want to see it or not, but for most times, those probably aren't going to get recorded. But if we can actually get past one, boom, we'll be recorded. Uh, me and my buddy, after the last one, we had done like five or six missions in a row, and all of them had Haunted Cave on them. And just some other bad mo modifier. I think the one that will be posted, uh, I'm pretty sure it had low oxygen with Haunted Cave, which we actually did really good in. We just got caught bad. Um, usually when you kill Dreadnoughts, or when you're fighting Dreadnoughts, the game will delay hordes up until its death. So when we killed it, it was awesome and all, but... The horde came in, and it was just bad timing. Haunted Cave was on top of our resupply for oxygen. So we just got left with nothing and just killed us. Molly runs really slow. She she cannot run it. Also, let me interrupt myself. Here's the build. Lightweight rounds and feedback loop. But we had it to where we were trying to fight for our lives. Molly, for her life would not catch up and trying to fight a horde with only one oxygen source which is molly is rough we did double scout we did double scout and i think mid mission too uh my buddy disconnected from our party i play an xbox for uh if any of you wanted to know oh this is a drill dozer i thought this was a salvage i did not read it whatsoever i already hear enemies but we play on Xbox, so he <laughs> disconnected in the party. Xbox is being really finicky right now. Stuff is spawning. Xbox is being fi really finicky right now for the past couple months with Xbox parties. With them just not working or them just disconnecting. Right now, one of the biggest problems I'm having with Xbox is it doesn't like to register my headset. For parties like if i'm playing alone it uh, xbox doesn't mess with any of my game sounds or whatnot At least we don't have to haul all these but it sometimes just refuses to pick up my mic in the party either it's when i change my batteries normally it happens but it just won't pick it up i'm hoping xbox will fix it soon because it's not like a big deal it's just an inconvenience is all it is and one that happens all the time But, I think that's everything. I don't think there's any more nitro. Nah. Let's go to get going. Also, the other missions we had on Haunted Caves, part of the worst part we had with them is after them being low oxygen dreadnought missions, they swapped over to being... Jesus. We lost 20% of that. And he is stuck inside. That... There we go. But what do you call it? After the low oxygen haunted caves, the rest of the missions we kept getting were more kite missions. Which you might not think are really bad, but on Hazard 5, you get a horde. You get a horde about at the three minute mark. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate. Oh, 
Sorry, Doretta, you're just gonna have to take some damage. You gotta go. One thing I learned in one of these missions is those hive guards you see, or not hive guards, no. Those guards you see, um, ooh, ooh, barely saved. Throw that out. The guards have not back to them. When they're elite, they'll knock you back, they'll throw you. I never knew that in all my time playing. Or it's just something you don't notice. Sorry, a little concentration. Oh, I used Berserker at some point. This won't be so bad once I get my turrets out. We all have stage one, it's alright. It's these long range enemies you gotta worry about, not the grunts. The grunts can't really out DPS your healing. Okay, there you go. Usually, I think you repair about 11 HP every tick of it. Can I crawl? You heal about 11 HP every tick that you do for healing. Grunts don't normally outdo that, but if they are the elite ones, which we have on this one, they might. But it's the ranged enemies and these exploders that are going to be really bad. Uh, I don't have a pod yet. I might have a pod. I have a pod. Oh, also in the missions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi. In the missions we did, uh, both we had two elite ones happen, and. Uh, we were playing with a different person, and we had gotten an elite detonator on both of our missions. In one mission, we had gotten two elite detonators. Which, in its, like, on its own, is rare. And they are, I'll tell you, they are scary. It's like a guaranteed one-hit kill. I, I think the only person who might be able to survive an elite detonator is Gunner. Just because he has the most resistances in the game for his like his weapons, and he has explosive resistance. The only other person I could think who might survive is Driller, because when uh, detonators do their attacks, they do part explosive, part fire, and Driller can. Driller's going to take still a lot of damage from the explosive, but usually what hurts you right after is the fire. So Driller will at least survive that, but I, I don't know about elite detonators. I didn't get, none of us got hit by it because the second we saw it, we kind of, you know, ran away. Oh, also season five will be reworking this mission type. Not like heavily, but I think for the first two, uh, sections of the Elmer Heartstone. Hello, boys. The Heartstone will have random phases, not all of them, but the, um, the lasers and rocks, they can appear on the first stage. What's our health at? Oh, also, I, I, <laughs> I forgot I'm, I'm not playing on a HUD anymore. It's not too bad, it clears up a lot of the screen. And hold left bumper, we'll pop it back up. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Molly is uh, I think way. for the most part we can go ahead and move on. Never mind, never mind. I take that back a lot. Holy crap. Thank god I waited for that flare recharge. I was full on about to miss this. That is fantastic. More exploders are coming. The Hindoretta. Platform up. 
What time we're we at? Eight minutes. I'm surprised the horde hasn't showed up yet. We are losing the drill I am kind of taking my sweet time on this. This mission has been kind to me with giving me real easy access to oil. Got enough for two pods. I think we're good to go. Another wave of exploders is coming in. No, it's other stuff. Oh, it's elites. Oh, it's so many. Oh, it's so many. Oh, oh my God. It is so many and so many gone. I thought that was going to be exploders. I kind of jinxed myself earlier. My Berserker is ready. Ooh. Let's just keep going. I don't want to stay around any longer. The drill dozer is en route to the Hearthstone. I'll leave my turrets for now. Uh, yeah, I'm doing fine on ammo. Did I have a thought going? I don't know. It'll be alright. I'm kind of doing bad here. I'm on the final stage. Bosco's already had to revive me once. Hopefully this time I can get ahead on these enemies. I was hoping for more. So the build, I'm going for the Shard Distractor. The overclock is called the uh, Feedback Loop. Which just, the longer you're shooting, the more damage and effective range you have. For your AOE, sorry, my aim is horrible right now. So you do more area damage and area of effect. Ow. Jesus. I probably should have dropped the resupply, to be honest. Let's go ahead and get this out. And I'm using bio, uh, I think it's biomass converter, which every kill will convert it back to ammo. You will never make profit on it, but it will keep you shooting. Biomass converter will keep you consistently shooting. Ooh. Ooh. This guy needs to go. Shellbacks are notorious for ending has five rounds. Also, don't forget with these guys. Ah, you could shoot the projectile out of the air if you actually have aim. Unlike moi. Oh, I'm full out out of, out of ammo. Okay. There was a cave leech. Was there a cave leech? No, I'm just paranoid. The drill toes are just ran out of fuel again. Please refill it. I'm paranoid of cave, cave leeches so much, especially playing solo. Ooh, Doretta did my job for me with mining nitro. Oh yeah, I, w I was down to one bar of ammo. Can't carry any more. Damn it, there's a pebble in my boot. Nice. All right, you can go over there, and you can come with me. This over there looks like a really big cave over those blue crystals were. To my right. I thought this was a salvage mission, so I figured the exploders were going to be really bad, but right now, it's, yep, those elites. That's an elite try job. Those guys are, ooh, really scary. Look how much he, oh, that one try job practically brought her down to 70% on its own. Try jobs almost could one-shot you for hazard five. If you get hit by all three shots, it brings you down to like 40% HP. Those elite ones shoot fast. And if I get hit, I'm pretty sure I'm dead.
Exploders? Exploders. And foil. Okay. Uh, done with this one. Is the nitro all over there? No. There's a bunch of oil behind us, but that's where I threw the other canister. I'm surprised I'm doing this fast enough to avoid the bigger hordes. We haven't actually had a normal one yet. Normally stopping at these, at least at the second one, you would get a, uh, a horde by now. But I've done this fast enough where we've avoided those. These are enemies. I'm gonna just get a quick axe swing on him. <laughs> they are hurting. They're hurting a lot. The yep, there it is. The red is there it is, indeed. Am I on ammo? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go pick one up. For safety. Woo! Big guy. Sorry, Doretta, when my spare bullets hit you. Thought I used Berserker. Can I get value out of it? Come on. Oh. I guess that's a no. Oh, and the one enemy shows up that Berserker is the best against. My Shredder's got some work in on him though. Two pods to spare, I think that'll be enough for the final. These could use some ammo. While I'm thinking about it. Horde's done with. We can get this done and skedaddle. Oi, we're forgetting the dozer. No, I'm not forgetting the dozer. Chemistry I care very much about her. You. Granted, I'm not bringing her head with us. Molly, why? Alright, let's keep going. Well done. All canisters are loaded. The drill dozer is ready. We'll go far enough where I don't need my turrets out. They won't call in the horde until we get to the other side of this cave. Make sure I'm all good on HP. That is a lot more than exploders coming. Plus exploders. Ah! I'm getting run over! Those are indeed two elites. Look at that. Even though this build is mostly for crowd control, the laser still just shreds. I'm hoping I can get back and quickly grab ammo. No, no, I'm, I'm risking a lot with it being at 80 already. Ooh, what is she getting messed up by? She's my biggest warrior right now at 60. See how powerful the beam got? Is that a detonator? No, just a lot more explorers. 
I'm trying not to get hit by them. I know, I know, I know. I'm working on it. Ow! My butt! Ah! They're hitting me through everything. We're alright, we're alright. Getting no dangerously close. I am cutting it really close. Let's make sure we're still doing damage to these guys though. Shard Distractor coming in handy. Oh, what the? Oh. Ow. I was full HP with shields, and he took me down a third. That was a shell back. That was a sh There he is. There's the culprit. He get what he deserves. One of the things I do here is immediately come to the right, put down a resupply, come straight to the left, and do the same. That's a habit I learned from doing low oxygen missions. Doretta provides oxygen on low oxygens, and so does Molly. So you don't need any close to her. So the, a good radius around her, you don't need it. So these two right here just let you be a little bit further out. Because with low oxygen missions, it's not really about how fast you go, it's about the placement of your resupplies. If you don't place your resupplies in a good spot, it'll come back and haunt you. Especially people who come in, they'll come in and immediately place it right next to her. One, it gets in the way, and two, you want it a little further away just so you have, you know, range to shoot. Grabbing ammo. And you're not so worried about uh, getting it getting ammo. in the way. Uh, Alright, let's go. I've got no reason to turn in my nitro. We don't have enough for a pod. I'm not even going to bother looting. We've got two pods. Hopefully that will... Now that we're actually just sitting in one spot and not worrying about moving, I can focus so much more on... Fighting. It's so hard to finish thoughts sometimes. Turrets are getting a little raw on ammo. Laser is. Oh, I thought I got that. Ooh, cool. I was scared about that rock because I, I always stand on top of her to repair, just to keep away from stuff hitting me. And I thought there was more than one. Granted, I'm probably not going to survive one hit because they do a lot more damage than you think. We tank those, we tank those. Go and do another one of those. I don't need the ammo for the stubby, I just need it for the laser. Laser, oh, I see you back there. That shell bag thought he could escape me. I knew what his plans were. Let's get all of them exploded first. These guys need to go. 
Stubby is really good against flying enemies as long as you have the accuracy for it. Ow! That's not oh, another wasted use of Berserker. Really? How did I end up in front of him? He ran away. Bosco's probably gonna finish him. Reload this. Yeah, Bosco did finish him. Appreciate it, Bosco. Get some ammo on that. Now, I don't exactly have the greatest way of dealing with the lasers. The grenade launcher is key for this. But I did not bring it. So I'm gonna get it up to the point where it doesn't take damage. Really? I'm really? Come on. We'll be fine. I'll throw down one of these. If you hit it a little higher up, and you're not doing it too high like me, you normally can take it out in four hits instead of six. But me being me, I always ooh, mess it up a little. I think right about here. Nah, still a little too thick. There's a sweet spot. Ooh, two wardens. Thank you. That would take like eight hits to go down. We're doing great. We're doing fine. We're, we're not in any danger. See? Perfectly fine. The drill has served its purpose. The hot stone is ours. I'll tell you what, I am never light on ammo. <laughs> I eat through these resupplies. What is that? You're down to two, and this one's down to one. Yep. Press the button on the mule, and we will send in the drop part. All right, let's go. As always, team. Drop part is on the way. Come here. Let's get at him. Nice, it's right here. That's the perks of running early. You need to go, sir. So do you. Oh, I have Skull Crusher. As my um, pickaxe spear. Forgot I got in that. That explains why I was like one hitting those guys. Get pickaxe. What's our time? Pretty good, honestly. That does not feel like that took that long. Louis' brother came back for revenge. He didn't like me killing him. But we did it, my brothers. And you know, what, you know what we get to do? We get to take this one. Oh, wrong thing. This. We get to take this, or sorry, we get to take this zero and make it a one. Nice. 364 kills and a bonus 50% coming just, just from the warnings. 
But on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to join our Discord, there's a public link on my channel. I'm pretty sure it's still active. It should be. Feel free to come say hi and ask any questions or if you just want to hang out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day.